we depend on doing at least two thirds of our business in the summer. Some of us, all of our business in the summer. Unfortunately, Langosta lounge owner Marilyn Sloshback says this is the worst summer season she's experienced in the last three decades. Business is down 65 to 70 percent. And although indoor dining returned this weekend, opening at 25 percent capacity isn't giving her the boost she needed. Non-existent, honestly. I mean, I think a lot of operators had issues with staffing to begin with this year between the stimulus and the not knowing what your business was going to be. We didn't bring on much staff. During Labor Day weekend, this mother of two would normally have 75 staff members working. This year, she had about 30. She told us she didn't want to hire people and then lay them off. The bar inside had to stay closed because she didn't have enough people working to maintain it. She also didn't have the capital to fully stock up on alcohol. We did a few tables here and there inside, but not enough to say, whoa, you know, it really helped our business. If it had rained this weekend, you were done. If we didn't have inside, we would have been, yeah. I, I don't think we would have opened today or ever again. You know, losing that revenue of a holiday is horrible. Over at Porta, also in Asbury Park, a socially distanced bar was a hit. But Dallas Latke, who oversees the business, says once outdoor dining becomes limited with the weather. 25% is definitely not going to cut it for business purposes. Governor Murphy said there were very few reported cases of knucklehead behavior this holiday weekend, which gives him hope. But he warned. We cannot let our guard down because this is a virus that spreads when we give it the opportunity to do so. Epidemiologist Stephanie Silvera believes it's important for the rate of transmission to be below one for at least a couple of weeks before increasing the indoor dining capacity. Statewide right now, it's at about 1.1 and it's been trending upward ever so slightly over the past week. Okay, so it's not so far off, but the trends are going in the wrong direction. Right. And what we've seen is this sort of pattern where the numbers will dip down below one for maybe a week or so, and then they bounce back up. As the cold weather approaches, Latke wants to see local municipalities giving permits for heaters and tents now so she can prepare. She also wants guidance from the governor to understand what metrics he's waiting to hit in order to green light more people inside restaurants. Everything takes a while. I would love to get everything squared away for October because that feels like the time when you start to get those really cold nights. Do you want to buy all of these heaters if there's a possibility that indoor dining is going to be increased? A lot of things to consider as a business. I had a, a staff member go to rehab yesterday. Like people are going to break from this. And I don't think anybody realizes that a lot of it has to do with not knowing what tomorrow is going to be for you and your family. It's very unstable. Yeah. Yeah. Marilyn Sloshback says her plan right now is to ask her landlord if she can shut down during the peak of the winter from November to February because it'll be too expensive to keep the lights and heat on with what she's made this season. For NJTV News, I'm Leah Mishkin.